Hello and a very warm welcome back to the channel. Charles Leclerc in his fourth season in Formula One, his third season at Ferrari now. He's already achieved a lot. Home win, obviously, for Ferrari at Monza. He's had a pole position. He's done a good deal already. Uh, but the question is, is he one of the elite in F1? I mean, Sam, when, when you say elite in F1, does Charles Leclerc spring to mind for you? Uh, Ferrari not cheating with their engine power springs to mind to me. Um, you know, getting a victory with a legal car would be probably more impressive as the two wings he got were the two wings that they had like a legal engine. Sorry, Ferrari fans. Um, like, I'll get onto Charlie Close positives in a minute, but that does sour the grape a little bit, doesn't it? It does, you know, put a little bit of the old mouldy, mouldy cheese in the stew. <laughs> I don't know where that was going. That, sometimes, what folks... on earth do you <laughs> never make me a stew? For goodness sake. Sometimes, folks, you start a sentence and you just have to find it along the way. Um, and we did that and Sometimes thing. you don't. <laughs> Charles Leclerc, honestly, um, he's, he's, he's bloody brilliant. He's bloody brilliant. I'd like him to get a wing in a Ferrari that is completely legitimate and has got questions asked around it. But nonetheless, he was still going up against a four-time world champion at that point. He was still fighting against a man that a lot of people consider an all-time great in Formula 1. I know the three of us consider and rate Sebastian Vettel very highly across the history of Formula 1. And Charles Leclerc, hands down, pulled his pants down. You know, it was easy for him. He did a great job. Um, Charles Leclerc's got great will to world combat. Charles Leclerc, we call him God Leclerc because in qualifying, that man is able to put the car so high up the grid. It's like Lewis Hamilton again, watching that level of ability on a, on a Saturday. Um, the man really knows how to pull some shapes when it comes to one lap, uh, one lap wonders. The guy has not ever lost to a teammate in terms of over a full season that I'm aware of. Ben Statman might tell me something different in a minute, but um, the guy's killing it. I think he's one of the best drivers on the grid at the moment. There's no doubt about it. And if he can maintain that form and if Ferrari can continue to build a car that slowly gets itself up the grid, I think we're going to see a bit of a George Russell, Lando Norris, Max Verstappen, Charles Leclerc epic fight-off for that top spot. A bit like when we saw Hamilton, Button, Vettel, Alonso all scrapping out at the top a few years back. That was bloody wonderful to see. I'd love to see something similar again. So, yeah, if it happens, great. I think Leclerc's definitely got the making to do so. And I forgot on my list of achievements, I, I, I left off 2019 F1 World Champion, Sam. As, uh, yeah! As yeah. Folks, I forgot, I for if you're interested in how my brain works, I thought he was going to win the world title in 2019. He didn't. In, in fairness, uh, you, you get my respect on that one because of the three of us, you were the only one who said that Charles Leclerc would beat Sebastian Vettel that season. So fair, fair play to you. Not quite right, but you're on the right lines at least. Um, I am the, the double champion of teammate wars and our predictions, so I'm, I'm going to cling on to something. Speaking of former winners of teammate wars, um, not <laughs> Harry. Um, <laughs> what, what's your thoughts on this one? Do you think that Charles Leclerc is amongst the elite? I was going to leave this stupid, stupid company. <laughs> hate you all. Um, <laughs> uh, I think... Uh, when we say elite, we're talking about the Hamiltons, the Schumachers, um, the Fangio Senna's of F1, aren't we? And that's, you know, God tier, brunch bar tier, Formula One drivers. Um, <laughs> um, <sighs> so I had a brunch bar the other day, actually, for breakfast, and I thought, I bet this is what Lewis Hamilton tastes like. Absolute God level of tastiness. <laughs> the disrespect to Lewis Hamilton. The absolute disrespect. <laughs> Anyway, God tier drivers, um, and, and my point is, I think Leclerc, he has the potential to get that one day. I think he's shown in his speed, in his wheel to wheel racing. I'm thinking back to 2019 when he was having a few ding dong battles with Verstappen, who of course everyone rates really highly. Um, I think he showed that he has potential. I don't think he's he's about to you know jump up to that ne uh, next level immediately. Um, especially if he doesn't have a card to do it but I think he's shown glimpses of being able to get to that elite elite tier of drivers um, yet yeah, you know just as just as those drivers I mentioned showed in their early career they showed the promise um, that got them to that level so yeah I think Leclerc definitely has potential it just I think it depends how how his career progresses um, it could go it could go two ways he could end up in a rubbish car for the rest of his career and we'll oh, never don't, don't say it oh sorry 
Oh, that hurts. Mm. Um, yeah, I think I think we've kind of almost forgotten over the past year, or a year and a half, how good Leclerc can be. Not forgotten because he's still put in some amazing performances, but we've not really seen him, him him at the front, so we have kind of forgotten. And he does sometimes make mistakes, but yeah, uh, I think he's he he could get that. I just, he's not quite there yet. I don't think. I, I do actually believe in the grand scheme of things, even if it's not respected now. His time in a car that was, you know, for the Ferrari last year was middle of the pack at best. And the Ferrari of this year looks like it's a bit better, but still not a front runner. I actually think his time in these cars will, will serve him well when people look back. Um, I actually don't think it's a negative, And I think the same when it comes to the likes of Fernando Alonso, who haven't necessarily always had a brilliant car. If you look at Lewis Hamilton as an example, the number one biggest knock on Hamilton, and this isn't his fault in any way whatsoever, is that he's never had to do what Charles Leclerc did last season. Um, and again, not Hamilton's fault because he's always been in a position where he can win a race. But, you know, he's never had to be in a midfield car. So I actually think that Charles Leclerc has got that box ticked and that really helps him overall. Um, in terms of whether he's elite now, I, I think a lot of this is going to depend on what your definition of elite is. Um, and, you know, there isn't a globally recognised standard for what elite is. There isn't a certain you need to be in the top X percent of drivers of all time. There's there's nothing like that. So it is going to be down to whether you would consider the top two or three to be elite or the top 10 to be elite or, or, or whatever that is. For me, he's he's not quite elite yet. But he's very close, and he's on. He's definitely on that path. For me, Charles Leclerc is brilliant about eighty percent of the time, which is highly respectful. That's that's very impressive. Um, but when I consider the elite of F one at the moment, I think it can it comprises of two drivers, and those two drivers are Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. And as brilliant as eighty percent of the time is. I think Lewis Hamilton and uh, Max Verstappen just have that added consistency that Charles Leclerc doesn't quite have yet. That's not even saying that Charles Leclerc is inconsistent. That's just saying Verstappen and Hamilton are wildly consistent and he's not quite there yet. I would argue that Verstappen is brilliant about 90% of the time. I would argue Hamilton's brilliant about 95% of the time. Those two so rarely make errors that if you're not quite at that standard, you can't quite be the elite of F1. Now, what I would say is that Charles Leclerc, in terms of potential, has got it. I think he, I, he absolutely has it. And it's easy to, to forget. He's only had 60 races in Formula One. That's it. We expect a lot of him because of how great he is, but it's so easy to forget how inexperienced he is. And part of that might be because he's in a very similar age group to Max Verstappen. But of course, Max Verstappen, he actually has double the amount of races under his belt already. Exactly 120. So it's a double. Um, and you know, thank you. 60 <laughs> times two. That one's on the that was on the house, folks. I mean, it's ridiculous that Max Verstappen is 23 years of age and he has 120 race starts. Like that's that's more than than Damon Hill. That's more than Jackie Stewart, Jackie X. The guy's 23 years old. It just doesn't seem real. Um, but, I mean, the overarching point in all of this is that if you were to look back at the other two drivers I consider to be the elite of F1 now, Max Verstappen, to take him first of all, his 60th race was 2017 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. When was Max Verstappen's worst time? It was actually after his 60th. It was the 2018 season, I would argue. And similarly, with Lewis Hamilton, yes, he did win a championship in his first 60 races, but his 60th race was the 2010 Canadian Grand Prix. So, and we know his 2011 is probably his weakest season. So, not to say that Charles Leclerc is going to have an awful 2022, but what I am saying is that both of those drivers were not complete after 60 races. They still made a lot of errors beyond that point. So, Charles Leclerc still got time. He's still got experience to gain. And I think once he's got that, he will be amongst that elite, no doubt. I think what's interesting that you say there about the, the 60 race mark, you're exactly right. A driver can have a peak. They can kind of be on that momentum and then they need to learn something. Hamilton in that McLaren in the kind of the very early teens to kind of 2011, 2012 season wasn't a top car, was not the fastest car, got a win. Verstappen even in his season where he was struggling, he was making no mistakes, he was punting people off and he 
gained himself the nickname for a season, Max for crashing, or Crash for Stappen, depending on what way round you want to put it, also got a win. I think Charles Leclerc, if that Ferrari is capable, if there's a sniff of a win, I'd like to see him really put Pesso to the metal and get himself a victory, or at least get himself up there where we can go, what a fight from Charles Leclerc that he's challenged for a victory there, and a Ferrari that is nonetheless. And to me, that's what makes you a, a very good top-level driver to being that elite all-time I, have you got a place in the top 10 greatest that I can argue? Because for me, Verstappen is he's not the greatest of all time, not close to it. People really put him up there. But for me, you can make an argue for putting him in the top 10. You can make an argue for him in the top 15. And I would listen to you. Charles Leclerc, not so much as of yet. Um, but I think he's got the potential. I, I was getting worried. I wasn't sure what the title of this video was going to be, but Sam has saved us late in the day with Verstappen as a top 10 driver. Thank goodness Please for that. Please don't put that quote live. <laughs> People will question cool. my knowledge forever. They question my knowledge anyway. What knowledge? I, I, mean, I was going to say, they already do that. Well, <laughs> and who knows? Maybe he maybe he won't be a top 10 driver after Gasly moves to Mercedes. So, you know. Exactly. Pierre Gasly, yeah. Mercedes, world champion. <laughs> right. Before he says anything else, get us out of here, please. Yuki Tsunoda. Well, oh, sorry, guys. Um, no. That one actually could come true. You never know. Another, another conversation topic. Folks, it's been a nice little quick one for you. Where do you think Charles Leclerc stands currently with the elite of Formula 1? Where could he be in kind of 10 years' time as his career starts to come to a close? Could he be up there with the greatest school time? Could he be a world champion? Really interested to know your thoughts. Get down in the comments. Let us know. Thank you for watching. It means a hell of a lot. Give the little like button a click because for the algorithm gogs of YouTube, that massively helps out our video. So we really appreciate it. Um, around for race stuff that's coming up big season let's go podcast check it out um and i've still been saying the same so all good i've been ben hocking good i've been harry Eat. and remember keep breaking late f1 higher f1 lower